All right, today I'm gonna to show you guys how I spray paint these white silo sock decoys to look like these speckle belly goose decoys, with this one being the top, and that's the bottom of the decoys. So these decoys were originally snow goose. Uh, on the other side, there's just some little black markings to look like the, the wings and the tail feathers, but we are going to turn these into speckle belly decoys. All right, so the first thing we're gonna start out with is this flat dark brown, and that's just gonna be your base coat. Alright, so now we're just gonna let that dry and then I'll once it's dry I'll touch up all the spots that need a little more dark brown. We'll go from there. Alright, for the next step we're gonna color the feathers with this flat tan color. So what we went ahead and did is I made this stencil courtesy of Bush Latte. So I made the stencil of all the feathers and so now it's just a matter of lining it up and then spraying spray paint onto the stencil and then it will leave behind that pattern. Alright, so I don't think that looks too bad. There are a couple spots that if I want to, I can go back with a paintbrush and some spray paint and touch up. Like right there, it's not a super defined line, but it's not that big of a deal. So the next step is we're gonna add some white along the, the wings right here, and that'll define them a little more, kinda make a little more sense than what it does now. But first, we gotta wait for this to dry. All right, our paint is dry, and we're going to add the white spots with this stencil right here, courtesy of Keystone Light themselves, not actually. So, I've got this somewhere, this canvas white paint, this canvas white paint right here. Uh, it is gloss, and I do, I don't want this decoy to be shiny, but with how little paint there is going on here it's really not going to make that big of a difference but if you can try and stick to matte colors only so if you can see whenever i had the stencil on the decoy and i was painting the feathers i actually had some some lead and a rock to hold down the stencil you want to make sure that it's as flat against the decoy as possible or else we'll kind of get some paint that goes off into other areas where you don't want them There we go. I think that looks pretty good. So now we're going to work on the backside, which arguably isn't nearly as important. Obviously the geese aren't gonna be seeing that, but we're still gonna do it anyways. All right, for the colors we're gonna be using for this side, we've got this dark brown, this khaki color, and then we've got just light brown. And then plus the same white that we used on the other side. But the real trick that we've got for this side is this plastic bag, and I'll show you that in a bit. Okay, we got our base coat down. Now we're just gonna wait for it to dry. All right, so we have allowed our paint to dry, and now we are gonna go in with the brown and the khaki. You'll see what I do next. It's not too complicated, but we're gonna be using this plastic bag.
Okay, so you can see when you spray the wet paint on there, you can take it back up with the paper bag and it just adds that cool texture. Again, obviously the birds aren't gonna be seeing the bottom, so it really doesn't even matter that much, but still looks pretty cool. All right, so our last step, we have this little cardboard cutout here. I'm gonna lay that on the tail, try and get it even on both sides. And then we're just gonna spray this white paint right over top of it. So then whenever we lift this up, we should have a dark brown in the same pattern. And there we go. Now we just need to wait for it to dry and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Thank you guys for sticking with me today in this video. I hope you liked my method of making these decoys using just simple boxes of beer. Who doesn't like drinking beer? I hope I'll see you guys in the next one.